In this video, we are going to set up an entire email campaign together using AI. The Ask AI feature will help you to set up a domain if you haven't set up a sending domain yet for your emails. It will create the entire email content. It will create multiple different subject line for you to A-B test which one works best. You'll be able to choose from pre-built segments, meaning pre-built email lists, who should be receiving these campaigns. And lastly, you can also go ahead and schedule your campaign. The really cool thing here is it's not just a generic AI generated email or email campaign because you can connect your brand voice to the email builder. Let me show you how that works. So first things first, go to marketing on the left, click on brand boards at the top, and here you can see the area brand voice. If you haven't set this up yet, you need to do that because that way your content will sound like your brand. So click add brand voice. You can start from scratch or you can just insert a text or URL that will then just dictate and understand your brand voice. Let's do it from scratch. And once you fill out all of that, you click save brand voice at the top right corner. So being logged into your location, you want to click the ask AI button top right corner and then this window pops up and you just want to add what you want to do create an email campaign for example and down here you see using brand voice then is your company name will show up here if you click the edit button a drop down menu will show up where you can select between different brand voices if you have several set up let's hit enter then it will start a chat with you hey what should this email campaign do tell me about the campaign you want to create so let's say we are running a black friday campaign and we are going to tell the name of the product then it will give you back a summary of what it has understood so far now if you like the feedback you click the thumbs up if you don't like it click the thumbs down and tell the ai what you would like to change so let's tell it to generate the email body and pre-fill the scheduling details. And ta-da, it has then just pulled the entire content into the email campaign builder. You noticed maybe we've just previously been on the launch pad and just opened up the AI bubble on the top right corner. So now, since we've said yes, everything's fine, pull it into the scheduler and here we go. This is really cool. It has even pulled relevant pictures into the campaign. So let's say our product is a ticketing support portal promotion. You can see there's support support agents working on their laptop and here on the laptop you can see somewhat of a technical setup and even the copy is on point as well let's scroll down let's have another look it's really really good so all of the copy is on point the images represent what we want to sell and that's it you can of course go in and edit all of this manually by simply clicking the button here if you want to change the button change the brand color here but actually this is the correct brand color so it has just pulled this color from the brand board we could go in and then maybe align the text a little differently things like that once you're done you just hit send or schedule scroll down on the right hand side you still see the template showing up how would look like on mobile and here you can see the different subject lines that has even pulled in remember we wanted to a b test our subject lines so here are two different subject lines then down here remember ai suggested to just send it to the contacts that have engaged in the last 30 days we can keep it as is or we can select the last seven days 60 days the subscribers engaged in the last five campaigns or the subscribers unengaged in the last five campaigns if you wanted to send like a hey are you still there re-engagement campaign so to speak or you can just ignore the whole thing and just choose contacts and then send it to all contacts for example of course you can engage a lot more with the ask ai feature and give it a lot more detail about your products and services and the email campaign you want to write so it will get just better and better in what you have to say you can test up to six different subject lines in this example we've said hey give us two different ones but actually you can create up to six different subject lines there has to be a minimum of 10 contacts per variation and 40 total contacts the a b test only works for send now or schedule campaigns not for the batch feature and not for the rss feature and then later on after you've sent a campaign you want to go in and check your statistics how well did your campaign do? You can do this under marketing on the left, emails at the top, and then select statistics. Here you can select your campaign and the time frame when you've sent a campaign and see all the data. The engagement summary, the performance analytics, open rate, delivered, what's the bounce rate, how many have unsubscribed. And you can also see the top performing emails when it comes to open rate and or click rate. And of course, you also have the option to resend to unopens inside the email campaign scheduler. Now, I hope you like this feature and be sure to check out all of the other videos we have in store for you. Our entire help doc library is linked below where you can learn more information about this particular feature as well as many other features. Also be sure to check out our Content Army YouTube playlist as well as our blog where you can learn more things about high level and what it has to offer.